Aja Hao. Today, I'm here to talk to you about something a little different, a little out of the ordinary. I'm here to talk to you today about flying cars, real, practical flying cars within the next decade. I work with a company called TerraFugia, based outside Boston, Massachusetts in the US. We were founded in 2006 by five MIT graduates with one goal, to create practical flying cars that would enable a new dimension of freedom. The embodiment of that vision is a vehicle called the TFX. The TFX is TerraFugia's vision for the future of personal transportation. It's a four-seat hybrid electric flying car. It has vertical takeoff and landing capabilities, so you don't need an airport or a runway to use it. And it has computer-controlled flight, so you don't have to be a pilot to fly it. The TFX has electric motor pods, one on each side, that are used for vertical takeoff and landing. You'll need a clearing of about 30 meters by 30 meters to take off, so a helipad, a backyard, the corner of a parking lot. Once takeoff is complete, the propellers fold back and a gas engine takes over to give you a cruise range of up to 800 kilometers at speeds up to 300 kilometers per hour. The TFX also has computer-controlled flight. What that means is that the operator is empowered to make high-level decisions, like whether a landing zone is safe or not. But the computer will execute all flight operations, leaving the operator free to enjoy the ride. Imagine, you get in your car, drive to the parking lot down the street, and take off with the push of a button. With your approval, the TFX will take off, fly, and land for you. You'll land minutes from your destination, and drive to a normal parking spot or garage. No traffic jams, no airport lines, just the freedom to get where you want to go faster and more convenient than any other transportation option. Now, this might seem like a bit of a crazy dream, and it's definitely ambitious. It isn't easy to build a flying car, but it's also totally possible. TerraFugia has assembled a uniquely talented and experienced team to tackle the challenge. We were founded, like I said, by five MIT graduates. They won a prize for entrepreneurship and used the money to start the company. Our CEO and CTO, Carl Dietrich, was certified as a private pilot at the age of 17 and earned his bachelor's, master's, and PhD degrees from MIT's Department of Aeronautics and Astronautics. He also won MIT's prestigious Lemelson Prize for Innovation. In fact, TerraFugia is the only company in the world to employ two MIT Lemelson Prize winners, both our CEO and our chief engineer received the award. Today, TerraFugia has a team of about 25 people. We come from a variety of business, aviation, and automotive backgrounds, but we all share a passion for making practical flying cars a reality. And so since 2006, when we were founded, TerraFugia designed, built, and flew two iterations of an initial prototype rotable aircraft. The initial design was a folding wing, fixed wing, rotable aircraft, which meant that it needed a runway to take off and land, but with the wings folded up, it could drive legally on a normal road and fit in a normal parking spot. These prototypes flew for over 100 hours, and we learned a lot of important technical lessons through the process of designing, building, and testing. For example, we discovered that the design for regular car windshield wipers doesn't work on a vehicle that also has to be able to fly. Because of the aerodynamic curving of the windshield, we had to develop a new windshield wiper mechanism that would be both up to automotive standards and would be effective on a curved aerodynamic surface. That's the kind of thing you just can't figure out without actually going through the process of designing and prototyping. We also gained invaluable regulatory expertise through working with the authorities both on the ground and in the air. We built strong relationships with key regulators and we started to participate in international rulemaking committees. Today, we lead several of these organizations, both in the US and globally, that are working to write the next generation of certification standards for aviation. And all of this experience has helped to prepare TerraFugia to develop the TFX. But not only have we developed this, this strong and experienced team, there are also several other important recent developments that are making a vehicle like the TFX not only possible, but more practical than ever before. First, we're seeing that key regulatory authorities are becoming more open-minded, more flexible in adapting to new and innovative technologies. Although the aviation industry is traditionally pretty slow to make changes, 
We've been consistently impressed with regulators' willingness to work with us and other innovative companies to make the next generation of personal aviation vehicles possible. As we speak, the Federal Aviation Administration in the U.S. is actively working on trying to figure out how to safely integrate unmanned aerial systems, drones, into the national airspace system. And a lot of this regulatory development is actually driven by technological advances. The drone market has exploded in recent years. Companies like DJI are making drones that anybody can, can buy. Amazon is working on using drones to deliver packages. This kind of tech was science fiction just a few years ago, and now it's everywhere. And it's not just the drones. Another key component of the TFX is its computer-controlled flight. And we've seen huge advances in autonomous technologies in recent years. Car companies are adding more and more self-driving features, like automatic lane changing and autonomous safety features. Autopilot has been standard in commercial aviation for decades. Smartphones allow you to do everything from hailing a cab to managing your finances with the click of a button. In fact, many of the exciting technologies that we're hearing about here at this conference, in the mobile space, in the autonomous space, directly enable a product like the TFX. Ultimately, most of the technology that's needed to make the TFX already exists today. We're just integrating it in a new and innovative way. And that gets to something really important. Because it's not just about what's possible from a technical or regulatory standpoint. It's about what society is open to. The TFX is possible now because people are becoming open to the idea of autonomy in their everyday lives. Most of us here in this room probably couldn't go 24 hours without using some kind of advanced autonomous technology, be it a smartphone, a toy drone, or a self-parking car. And that social acceptance is key. We are at a tipping point. As autonomous technologies are getting integrated into every aspect of society, society as a whole is becoming more open, more excited, less afraid of these kinds of innovative technologies. Just in the last few years, we've seen the huge success of mass market consumer products that use these kinds of autonomous technologies. It's not just that drones, self-driving cars, and smart everything is possible. It's that regular people are becoming open to it. Society is ready for a vehicle like the TFX. And yet what we have is this. Traffic. Pollution. Despite the fact that technology continues to develop rapidly, the experience of transportation has hardly changed. We're capable of amazing things, and yet the average speed of personal transportation is actually decreasing. In the US, the average commuter spends almost two hours on the road every day, traveling at an average speed of just 17 miles an hour. That's insane. The current transportation infrastructure, the industry as a whole, is just not sustainable. It's time for a change. Between market drivers like congestion and pollution, plus rising social acceptance of autonomous technologies, regulatory developments, and technological advances, we project a huge market for the TFX. Now, we have no illusions this will be an expensive product, at least at first. But we hope that by combining traditional direct sales with shared use and rental models, the TFX can have a broad impact and really catalyze a new industry. Because our vision is to create a new kind of vehicle that enables a new dimension of freedom and makes a real difference in the personal transportation industry. And that will only be possible with a broad market base. Eventually, we hope to reach market sizes on the scale of car companies. We see particularly large potential markets in regions around the world with less extensive aviation and roadway infrastructure, since that's where a vehicle like the TFX could potentially have a huge impact. We also see large market potential in places with infrastructure that's unable to sustain the kind of rapid urban growth that we're seeing in big cities around the world, like Beijing, Shanghai, New York, and San Francisco. These markets are significant enough that we believe Terrafugia has the potential to seriously disrupt the entire personal transportation industry. With a market this real, with a need this real, you won't be surprised to learn that we're working around the clock to develop the TFX and bring it into production as quickly, safely, and efficiently as possible. Now, that said, we are still in the early stages of development. We hope to have a full-scale, unmanned prototype of the TFX by 2018, and we intend to enter production as early as 2023. Today, we're finalizing the conceptual design phase of the vehicle. And one key component of that early design phase is wind tunnel testing. 
In this picture, you can see a one-tenth scale model of the TFX mounted in a wind tunnel in preparation for testing. We're testing scale models of the TFX in a wind tunnel in order to determine key flight characteristics of the vehicle, like lift and drag. This work will inform our design and development efforts going forward. Last year, we developed a full-scale proof of concept of an electric-powered motor pod, which would be used for vertical takeoff and landing. The electric motor pods are one of the most important and challenging components of the TFX, and so we prioritized developing a full-scale prototype of that technology. The motor pods have a distributed electrical architecture, which basically means you've got lots of motors working together to power the propellers. And that redundancy is a vital safety feature, because it means that even if one or two of the motors fail, the propellers will continue to operate safely. Building and testing the electric motor pod allowed us to get a sense for what electric-powered takeoff and landing would be like, since that's not something that many other products do. It also allowed us to do some baseline testing for noise impact, since noise is a key consideration for a consumer product like the TFX. Recently, growing investor interest in the TFX program has allowed us to rapidly expand our team and accelerate TFX development. We're doing flight testing on scale models of the TFX to perfect the design. We're doing load-bearing testing to determine the strength of key components of the vehicle, such as the wings. We're developing and testing the user interface of the TFX to ensure a user experience that's smooth and intuitive. At the same time, we're working with regulators to establish a certification basis for the TFX. We're still early stage, but we're determined to make a real impact. Now, before I finish up, I'd like to share a short video to, to illustrate our vision for the future in action.
pretty cool, right? You want one, right? I know I want one. This might seem like science fiction, like a fantasy, but Terrafugia is making practical flying cars a reality right now. In as few as seven years, the skies could be full of TFXs, and the personal transportation experience could be completely transformed. But the most exciting thing for me is that we're not the only innovators. We're not the only dreamers. It's been such an honor to participate in this conference and learn about all of the amazing, innovative technologies being developed here in China and around the world. The future will be an exciting place, and it's not as far away as you might think. Thank you. Thank you.